What is shaking, homies? Today, we got a Timu haul. So I got all this for $140 on Timu. Now, Timu was nice enough to send me all this stuff. Just to do an unboxing. They let me pick out what items I wanted. And very cool. And they also gave me a promo code so you guys can get a free $100 in coupons. And then if you also download the app with my code, you can get another $100 in coupons as well. Now, they let me pick out whatever I wanted, so I went with, well, you'll see, but a lot of stuff that we're going to use on the channel. Things like yo-yos, disc golf discs, um, just things that I didn't see anywhere else. Like, you're new to Timu, you know, it's like a lot of Chinese products, but these actually all shipped out from New Jersey, so they must have a warehouse there. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to take a look at everything one at a time. So, here, let's start with, this was like a $2 yo-yo, so this is... The cheapest out of all the yo-yos I got. Um, we are going to do an unboxing on this one. Um, you know, probably on my channel. Basically, all these yo-yos, I'll be doing an unboxing. And I'm, these won't be paid reviews. They're just going to be my honest reviews. So, a lot of times, these are the funniest videos to make, are these yo-yo ones. So, this one, I'm not going to open. We'll save that for the unboxing. But you can see it's a really cheap yo-yo. I'll put it on the screen. Some of the other colors, you can get the Timu listing of it and everything. And then this one is the YTP yo-yo. So we'll do a quick little opening here. Let me show you. We get um, accessories. A gold plated bearing. <laughs> Probably the finest of gold too. And I believe all these yo-yos were like in the $15, $10 price range. Um, I can bring up what these all are. I'll put this on the screen. Um, but this one's really cool. It also, also has another gold plated bearing in it. Um, so these will be very cool to unbox, but it kind of reminds me of like a Magic Yo-Yo T5 Overlord. Very sharp, very narrow, very angular. And I think this will be a really good review. It'll be either horrible, on to the next one. We got another Yo-Yo here. Get a lot of Yo-Yos. All sorts of stuff. Okay, so here. Boxy, I'm a little smashed. Oh. That's okay though, because check it out. They got one of these hard <laughs> plastic uh, cases that Magic Yo-Yo uses. Um, doesn't, you know, it doesn't say anything on it. So very similar to Magic Yo-Yo. And what was this one? Ooh, this is the the Wire, W-H-I-R-E, Pony. The Wire Pony. I mean, like, it actually looks really cool. Uh, super broken English type. Joel Stair Yo-Yo T3 Wire Pony. I can't wait to review this one. But it also comes, um, this one comes with a slim bearing and a small axle so you could play with it responsive or unresponsive. You know, so super, super cool. Okay, this one looks really cool. This is another YTP area, so same company as this. But this one's got like a really cool wolf on it. Oh no, it's a tiger. It's funny. Let's go YTP, let's type in YTP. Oh, it's right here. This is the black, it's the first one that popped up. This is the black metal area. <laughs> this ain't that's what the listing says. I don't know. Comes in several cool colors. We got a really cool one here. This one, just like the other one, comes with another gold bearing. And this one looks actually really nice. Very, very impressive. I mean, they all come with a lot of string too and a glove and you know stuff I'm not really gonna use. I'm sponsored by Zipline Strings and stuff, but those of you, you know. They need string. That's awesome. Uh, pretty, you know. This one was twelve dollars. I mean, so far, I mean, I actually have high hopes for some of this stuff. Oh, this is cool. This it was only like two dollars. It's a banana balaton. So we'll, we'll do a quick little. We'll do a quick little test. I am gonna do. I'll probably do a video on all the balatons together. So, huh? <laughs> it looks like a banana. Uh -huh. The curved handles are a little a little awkward for me. There we go. Pretty cool though, I must say. So super light, like so light that it's like, you know. <laughs> but pretty cool. It's got like freaking <laughs> hardware from Ace Hardware. <laughs> like, I got a couple of like, so Let's open a couple more just to mix it up. I believe that was like two dollars. Uh, and then this one is also only like two dollars. All these baddies are really cheap, like one or two dollars. So this one's got a little fish. 
Oh man, it feels so flimsy. But yeah, I mean, not terrible. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. And then the third one, I think this one, though, this one feels definitely the best. It feels the heaviest. It's gonna be similar to the banana. A hot dog. I was like, which arm is it on? It's pretty cool, huh? So this thing, cool. <laughs> it's so light. I mean, it's had the heaviest out of all of them, but it is still so freaking light. Oh, yeah. These are not gonna be any competition valleys by any means, but this is still pretty cool. So $2, you can get any of these. There was other ones too, but I thought these were the funniest. I don't know, let me know in the comments which one you guys like the best. Yeah, I think I'm only like two bucks, so I mean, come on now. You can't really go. Yeah, and I think there's a huge sale. So there's always huge sales going on at Team Up, but there's like up to 90% off site wide. Um, they also have like free shipping, free returns, uh, up to 90 days, uh, $5 credit if your delivery's ever late, um, price protection if you buy something and then it goes on sale. You can contact them and they'll give you the difference. So, I mean, this is my first time ever dealing with them. I've heard of them, I've seen them around, but. I didn't know they sold all these yo-yos and or any of these other things that we still haven't opened that you can't get other places. So this yo-yo I think looks really cool. How much how much is this one? This is also $16.50. So once again, we get strings. We get two gold bearings that are gold plated. Both concave, both large bearings. But look at the colors on this guy. Little cat skull and crossbones. It says something in a foreign language that I can't read. Also a little angular, little narrow. Feels like it'll be a very fast player. Yeah. And let me know down below too which yo-yo you guys want to see review first. Oh no, this one did not come with another bearing or a glove. It did come with all the strings up. So maybe only certain models. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Okay, we got uh, Joel Share, which I believe this company said Joel Share on it too. So this... I bet these are manufactured by like Aldi or Magic Yo-Yo or something. I mean, for a different company or something. Because a lot of this is packaged a lot, like how they package them. This one we get a small axle, small bearing for responsive play, which you know leads me to believe that it's right now set up with a large bearing. Yep, a large. They, these companies all like these gold plated bearings. Uh, I've had good luck with those in the past. Um, I notice most times I never clean them. I just leave them, leave them, and they usually last a really long time. Unless they get obnoxiously loud or something, I'll put thin lube on them. But I notice they usually don't take much maintenance. And uh, pretty cool. And this one's just you know, really, really nice. What's this one called? The T1 Balder. B-A-L-D-R. Lee Share T1 Balder. All these yo-yos are like the same price. They're all super affordable. And this one had uh, all green polyester strings. This one did come with a glove. So, so far, I have not played with any of these yo-yos. I want to save those for my videos because I do like my reviews to be a natural first impression. So a lot of people think I play with this stuff off camera. Oh, we got another valley. This one I think was also like $2. This one feels by far the best in my hand. It's a carrot. Uh, very flimsy this way. Doesn't have any hardware at all. It just kind of fits together. But, you know, less, you don't got to worry about losing things. This one's, without a doubt, the best out of all of them. I mean, you're not going to win the Bell Song World Championships with any of these. And it's like crooked. Like, you, you move it, it still goes back. I don't know if you guys can see that. But, for what it is, Can't complain. I cannot complain. Okay, then these four items, I was, these are probably the things I was actually most excited about because I saw, I've seen these only on Timo. I haven't seen these anywhere. And they look fairly good quality. They're very, very cheap. We got four different disc golf discs. They are made by a company like XUFO or something like that. And we're gonna start, this is the mid-range. 
I'll grab some other mid ranges to compare. Uh, another mid range to compare this to. I'm gonna do a video reviewing all these in one video. I'm gonna play around with all these discs. Yeah, but I believe this is like seven dollars. Yeah, see, we got the X UFO Disc Golf, the Bison. It's a five four zero three, so it's a very stable mid range, uh, and it actually looks like that. It looks quite domey. It feels in my hand like it's. The profile about the size of my hand feels similar to a buzz, but it has like a little micro bead on it. And right here, it's very much more aggressive and it comes out to a little more of a dome. So I can just tell from looking at this, this is going to be much more, uh, much more stable. It actually, my hand feels more like my Millennium Solstice than a buzz or something like that. I'm mostly a buzz throw. Um, but I really like, it does have a little bit of a pop top, but I really like the grip it feels really nice it's like a champion plastic but it's much more gummy like it feels gummy in a good way when i actually do it and then this one okay here's the fairway driver which um this is kind of like a neutral to flippy fairway driver based on the numbers it's a 77 minus 11 very similar to a latitude 64 river and i mean look at this it looks nice like really nice this one's Definitely a little flatter topped. Uh, they all came in boxes. Like, none of this stuff got smashed. The only thing that got smashed was this box with the yo-yo that had a case for it. So, And this all came UPS. So, free shipped from... Uh, it came from New Jersey, so it only took a couple days, actually. And this thing feels really nice. It doesn't... I'm trying to what this reminds me of. I mean, maybe, like... It feels in my hand kind of like a Valkyrie or something. Just something... It, it, the wing is a little too aggressive for like a T-Bird, but I guess it has a little bit of a T-Bird feel to it. Um, but yeah, the flight numbers suggest it'll be very much like a river. All right, now this is the distance driver. This is, oh, so this one was called the Star Bat. The, this one. This is the Star Bird. Ooh, and this one actually... Before I even take it out, it looks like it's like a distance. Trip. Like, yeah, it feels. It actually feels more like an 11 or 12 speed. It says it's a 10 speed. A 10 speed's like a, I think like a beast. Uh, it definitely feels like it has a wider rim than a beast. Um, but this thing might actually haul. And these are all. Like, they're not marked, but I believe they were all 170 to 175 grams. Everything was pretty much max weight. You couldn't order multiple weights. Okay, now here's the best looking one. This is the putter, and you're going to like this. So you see the name of that? The Eagle Wigs. I bet you they were going for Eagle Wings, and through translation, they lost an N. But it's a 2301. So, you know, it should be fairly straight with a little finish at the end. Uh-huh, you know. Feel, this one also feels nice. I normally do not putt with premium plastic. I like to putt mostly with, you know, more gummy base plastic. I just think it's better, especially in the winter now where it's wet. But I'm still very excited to check out all these. So let me really quick grab a couple discs that we can put these up next to, just to get an idea of what they're kind of like. All right, so here are a couple that I thought reminded me the most of things in my collection. So this, the Eagle Wigs, I think is... Profile and everything looks a little bit like a big bead AV. Well, this is a champion AVR. This one just happens to have a bead, in a bead on it. If it didn't have a bead, I think it would be pretty much the same. Most AVRs don't. So a champion AVR is actually very close. Uh, the champion AVR just is a little, little more concave there. Where this one's just a little more sl uh, slanted. So I think they kind of went with the classic putter feel. And pretty safe bet kind of going kind of close to an AVR in shape now the mid-range the thing i found that was closest to it actually was actually my truth uh, i believe this thing's called uh yeah yeah this is a truth <laughs> by dynamic discs i believe and this definitely is the closest but the there's definitely a much more aggressive swooping under the parting line here on the bison so i think this is going to be a more stable disc and i don't have a super super stable mid-range or five speed at least so i'm quite excited to try that the river actually is the closest thing i could find to the star bat this one's super beat up so it's more rounded than it would be if it was new 
uh, but it is actually very close profile uh, with the, the river. And same numbers, so if they fly similar, that'll be cool. Now, this one, I still think this is, this has to, this size of this is bigger than a 10 speed. This is an 11 speed. This is an a latitude, or not a latitude, 64, a disc mania DD1. The stratosphere edition, but that doesn't really matter. It's kind of here nor there. This definitely has a bigger rim than this one does. And this is a 10 speed, and this is an 11 speed. This is basically a Wraith made by Discmania. But yeah, this feels in my hand like it's going to be a bomber. But I, I think this is going to fly more like an 11 or 12 speed because it is definitely what it feels like now. But I think other than that, these discs are pretty damn close. Like I think I held it up next to my Wraith too, and it's is a little more like this DD1. Um, so very, very similar profile to the DD1. Almost identical. But yeah, I think the the grip's even a little bigger on this than it is on this. So yeah, so that's what I compared to. Let me know down below what you guys think, what you guys want to see. Remember, all the links for this are down below. You hit the link. To download the app, you'll get some extra coupons. You can use the code. I'll put it on the screen. Search that on the Timu website or in the app, and you'll get another additional coupon. So this stuff is cheap enough as it is. Stay tuned. I'm going to do reviews. You're going to find out if it's good, awesome, or not. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Timu, for hooking it up, sending me all this stuff, and giving me the codes for all my viewers. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.